Hey guys, it's Gary from G&G &G Electronics. Uh, today I have got one of those Banggood um, black uh, FM radios with the alarm clock, LCD display. Um, this isn't about how to build it. This is just some tips and tricks on how to get it to work properly. To build it, this thing is is so straightforward. You don't even need the instructions because this circuit board has everything marked out on it um, in English. A lot of guys say, "Well, where's the instructions? I don't know. Uh, I, I can't understand all this. Where's the instructions?" You don't need instructions. It's right there on the circuit board. I mean, it can't be any more clear. It's like when you're when you're attaching the uh, LCD display to the main PCB. It's marked right there, clock and VCC and everything else. And on the other side, it says clock, VCC. Oh, I think it goes together there. So anyways, one of the big things is, is these guys are putting these together and saying, oh, it's, it's on the European kilohertz, and I can't get it any higher than 92. Um, you know, Jesus Christ, I'm going to send this thing back. Guys, you don't have to do that. Uh, if you know anything about a radio, um, all you have to do on the... The, turn, the tuning cap capacitor back here, I don't know if you can see it, but if you're looking at the, all right, let's, let's go with uh, this chip right here. So here's pin one on the top. If you go like this and keep pin one on the top and then look at the tuning capacitor in the back, the one you want to tune is this far right hand uh, little screw, okay? So all you have to do to get higher than 92 kilohertz is you take and you watch your display. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, and I'm going to tune this as high as I can go. That's the highest I can go right there is 90, 90.7. Now, you get yourself an itty bitty screwdriver. Now, hopefully, I can do this and have you guys watch this at the same time. I'll try. I think you can see that. But, anyways, you take that one. One screw I showed you, the far right one. Let me see if I can get my screwdriver in there. And you just turn it. And here we go. I'm going to bring that right up to 108. Whoop, I just passed the station. You keep on turning. Keep on turning it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, bring it, I'll bring it to 109. Okay, there you go, right there. Alright, and then... If you want to go and get the lowest in the FM, you bring this dial to the lowest you can go. And if you want it any lower than 69 kilohertz, right underneath underneath this wheel, you probably have to take the wheel off. There's a it's the L1 air coil. You take and you spread that coil apart a little bit, or you close it a little bit, and that will tune the lower side up and down. Once you get it tuned to where you want. Um, you can drip a little bit of wax on there to keep that coil from you know collapsing or opening up more and that'll keep you right in tune so that's how you adjust this up higher is through the back of this tuning capacitor the far right is what you want to turn and then watch your display now the other problem with these radios is is these little click buttons um, a lot of the guys are trying to solder those buttons on there it doesn't work. What I find best to do on these is you put them in position and you pop a little bit of glue on them from a hot glue gun and they stay right there and they work fine. Okay? Um, and that's really it guys. It's, it's pretty straightforward. And other guys are saying, oh geez, how do, how do I keep the speaker in place? There's, there's no you know securing it or anything. Put a little glue in there. That's all you gotta do. Works perfect. Um, the other thing is that this little, these are the push buttons here. And I cut this one off because that's the power button. Because in your kit, you're going to get a longer black push button. That is the on off button. So just attach it to that and it will pop right through the front of it. Um, and that's really it guys. That's, I just wanted to show you those little tips and tricks. How you, now watch, you can, this thing will tune all the way up to the, to 109, it, it'll actually go further. I think I brought it up to like 124, 
but you're not going to get anything up in the 124 area. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe another thing is, is they say, well, what's that long gray wire in there for? That's for your antenna connection. You solder it right to the back of the board where it says antenna, and then there's a little little lug that comes with it that you solder onto the that wire, and then that goes to the antenna. Um, and that's really it, guys. It's a pretty straightforward little radio. It's super, super easy to build. Like I said, take these and just throw it away. You don't need it. Everything is marked right here on the board. Um, let's see if we can get a station to come in here. Let me get this up a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. But it works fine. There's the power button. Now the other thing I found too is um, this is the way I laid out everything. Um, first I meter every all of my parts out and that's how many extra parts that they send you. A whole bunch of different capacitors, resistors, and everything else. It's kind of nice. It's a nice kit. It gives you some extra parts in case you lose them. Um, yeah, it's a very nice kit for the money. And uh, you, get, like, you can get them on my site. Right now, these kits are getting harder and harder to get because everybody's finding out about these kits. I, I did have them at like 1650 and my supplier raised up their rates, so I had to raise mine up too. I think they're like 17 and a quarter now. Um, but I did find another place on Alibaba that I'm working with a, a, a supplier in China that I'm going to bring them back down to 1650 once I get those in stock. So if you like to have one of these little radios, g, &G Electronics on eBay, and uh, I'll set you right up with one. I can get it out to you in four or five days. All right, guys, that's just a little bit of tips and tricks about the black FM Banggood radio. Thanks, guys.